People commemorate Haipo Jadanang on his 87th death anniversary. Deputy Chief Minister Joy Kumar asserts government is closing monitoring the Indo Naga peace talk. Governor Dr. Nachma Haptula assures Steve Sena Manipur State Unit that Indo Naga Fremu Agreement will not harm Manipur in any manner. Spokesperson of MPCC Kumukcham Joykishan asserts real intention of BJP led central government regarding Indo Naga Fremu Agreement will be exposed by this December. Art and Culture Minister L. Jayanth Kumar assures of cultural and scenic policy by September end. Manipur Films and Television Institutes to be set up in three different places. And Manipur joins in observing National Sports Day. Minister Karam Shah calls for state level observance of the day to encourage budding sports persons. Kurumjuri, good evening. I'm English News and I'm Victoria Rajkumari bringing you the latest updates. First up, the 87th death anniversary of Haipo Jadonang, a renowned freedom fighter of the Zalingrong community, was widely observed in the state at various places today. Haipo Jadonang Statue and the Park Development come Haipo Jadonang Death Anniversary Committee held the state level observance at Jadonang Park in Kishabad. Speaking on the occasion, NPP MLA and Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joykumar asserted that the state government will not remain a mute spectator regarding any issue that threatens the integrity of the state. He said that the government is closing monitoring the Indo Naga peace talk and that it is prepared to give all out efforts to safeguard the interests of the people and the integrity of the state. Joy Kumar also said NPP will also take drastic measures and even withdraw partnership with the government to encounter any outside divisive element. Elderly folks of Jalangrong community prayed for love peace and harmony in the state by offering wine to the goats and floral tributes were also paid at the portrait of the martyrs. Various spokespersons spoke at length on the immense contribution made by the Zelengrong leader. Yumnam Joy Kumar loaded the martyr as a national freedom fighter and maintained that it was under his leadership that Zemei, Liangmei, Rongmei and Puimei were united into one community as Zelengrong. Let me assure you that this government, the government, the government, we have been observing, we have been following all the developments very carefully and with all the carefulness and with the very clear mandate that say that Koyi Manipur interest so put the Koyi will not tolerate. Hypo Jadonang Statue and the Park Development come Hypo Jadonang Death Anniversary Committee also submitted a memorandum to Deputy Chief Minister demanding announcement of August 29 as a state holiday and to renovate Jadonang Park in Kishampat. The Deputy Chief Minister is sure to discuss the memorandum in the state cabinet meeting and take necessary measures at the earliest. Minister L. J. Kumar, MLA H. Dingo, former Minister K. H. Lokin, Ambuko President P. H. Deban, UCM President Sunil Karam, and President of Zelengrong Union, Assam Manipur Nagalan, Ammu Kamai, were among those present at the event. It may be recalled that freedom fighter Haipo Zadonang was hanged by the British government on August 29, 1931. Governor Dr. Najma Habtullah gave assurances to Sib Sena Manipur State Unit that the Indo Naga Framework Agreement will not affect Manipur. Speaking to media person at the party's office in Babupara today, 
President of Sib Sana Manipur State Unit, M. Tombi, intimated that the party submitted a memorandum to the governor today regarding various state issues like framework agreement, fake encounter cases related to Armed Forces Special Power Act, APSPA, and National Registrar for Citizenship, NRC. He said, responding to the memorandum, the governor assured that the framework agreement will not disintegrate Manipur in any manner and further stated that all the stakeholders will be involved in finalizing the Naga Peace Accord. Tombi said, Governor, no governor Najma Haftala also urged all the political parties to join hands with the government in resolving various issues of the state. <laughs> Chief Minister, the Khanda of Purama, stakeholder, the Khan, and the Hibachi, Machi, Machi, Matang, Chengdopi, and Hibakanda, Mamadu Tashing, the Hikanda, Lushin River Purama, Madu Hibuya, the Munamur Morakanda, Chief Minister, Su, stakeholders, is Ukanda Veni, at the Lushan Bukanda, the Shoydana, Chief Minister, I'm the stakeholder, Punama, Khan, and the Hiba, my Shengdo Warolama, as my P. Bahman, Itata, another, the Lebak, Iran, Hunanabo, Hunaba, Masukum, Masimutang D, I could. Meanwhile, women folks protested against implementation of Article 371, Clause A and Sixth Schedule of the Indian Constitution in Manipur. A sit-in in this regard was jointly staged by Sagolban Moirang Lairag, Women's Welfare Association and Sagolban Nepram Mazar Kawang Chakat Thaurang Nupi Lop at Sagolban YSSU Waiting Shed today. Speaking to media person, General Secretary of Sagolban Moirang Lairak Women's Welfare Association, W. Subadani, warned both the state and the central governments against extension of Article 371 Clause A in the state and further extended full cooperation to UCM in its movement against the same. The government of the NSNIM is <laughs> the same. Article 371 clause A, the Manipur, the Sanagani, 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 the Langmai Dong, Apunba Maira Paibi, local clubs and students of the area also stays a sit in today at Langmai Dong Kaithil Community Hall in the Kaching district as a part of the ongoing agitation by United Committee Manipur against extension of Article 371 Close A or any similar act in Manipur. The protester formed human chain and chanted various slogans to protect the integrity of the state. Women folks also stay sit-ins demanding to repeal Armed Forces Special Power Act from Manipur to hand over the mortal remains of G. Jiteshwar, Elias Gypsy and T.H. Satis and to award befitting punishment to the army, army official involved in the alleged cold-blooded murderers carried out by the Indian Army. Poire Ita, Majrao Maira Paibi and Hyang Thang Maira Paibi organized sit-ins at Irom Majrao Bazaar and Hyang Thang Bazaar today. Speaking to Impact News, Secretary of Majrao Maira Paibi, Yumnam Ibemhal, demanded a CBI or SIT probe into the custodial killing of five Manipuris, namely G. Jiteshwar, Elias Gypsy, T. H. Shattis, Thangnaujam Prem, R. K. Rennal, and Fijum Naubi. President of Pairai Ita, Ima Kumudini, lamented that details are still awaited into the death of Gurumayam Gypsy and T. H. Shattis. She demanded the mortal remains of the two deceased to be handed over their respective families. Indian army na ngasi bok the word na igere na thok riba thok do wa thok mayam jida ining itung thung jada ba adubu kui na sumai na mang garaga lang la lang jing kitang pangak pa Indian army gi matak da kari ta wa ya ba hai ba saraka gi mieng adagi wa yen bichar adujo pam jebe Manipur da huji huji ngang army na khara hap kapna ba da khara hap adagi pek encounter da khara hap ta udana Manipur da nupa hai ba jatu gi masing jia soki matik handhar. Manipur Gamenda, I coin a hygienic nibadi, Manipur Gamena su, Hari Basigi Langla Langzin, 
थिदोक पीरे हाइरे रगा जिते सोर अम सोंग छतीस की इमु मनुंगदा Asiba hakjang ado, seru masjid amat awarasu sinar bio. Hai riba, isa manga asina manipurgi wang muda, parga hati ba ase, ahan ba masung aroi ba oihan biro manipurgi lay maya ase. Ing nasik na tangdu lay tapak kunaya ma oihan biro. Akom Lub has alleged that scarcity of fertilizers prevalent in the state is caused by existence of black market. Speaking to media person present in charge of the organization, Sanjit Saraisam asserted that involvement of an official who was suspended following a disciplinary committee in the black market has conclusively proven its existence in the state. He appealed to the government and authority concerned to justify the involvement of a suspended official and another high-ranking official in the case. Speaking further, Sanjit asserted that Akomlub will undertake serious investigation regarding sale of fertilizers above the prescribed MRP and urged authority concern to discontinue involving in the black market. He also appealed to the government to take immediate actions to carve the manic. Lomi isi nau sing dah saya tengah si pengandan apa lady bah kerajaan si na yang cecen na arit acet pak firip amagal lain na hai riba hari problem si thok tena apa kongru kang lay parking mai kai dagi cecen wai thamzari black ta tongan tongan bah mafam sing da mafam kerat da aku lagi ahen bah mamal da yuan bah aku lagi kongru kang lay park na masih teng najer eh aduna atuh bah matam da mari lay nari bah aku lagi department na masih pagat piu masih miam dah sendok piu, natri gadi, makoi esih, harze, kamai na, matau keram na, makoi dah black tu, yo yo libano, kamai na tang na, pangi libano, hai bazi, koi capsana masih yangsil lagi ni. Spokesperson of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, Kumukchum Joy Kishan, has asserted that the real intention of the BJP-led central government regarding Indo-Naga framework agreement, whether the union government is bluffing the NAC and IM or cheating the people of Manipur, will be exposed by this December. Joy Kishan also accused the BJP government of mistreating the people of Manipur amidst the prevailing various issues of the state. Speaking to media person at Congress Bhavan, Joy Kishan accused the BJP-led government of using emotional tactics to turn people of Manipur and NAC and IM against each other. He assured that the hidden agenda will be exposed before court of conduct of the upcoming Lok Sabha election. On the other hand, the MPCC spokesperson also stated that people are adversely affected by price hikes on various commodities including petrol, diesel, LPG, etc. Joy Kishan noted that price of LPG has soared as high as 900 rupees per cylinder since the rule of the BJP in the country. He alleged the BJP government of collecting large amount of legalized tax in the name of GST for governing the country. Joy Kishan also stated that even though the BJP-led state government initiated various developmental projects for both the hills and the valley, the Imphal Valley has remained neglected, which is proven by the non-completion of the mini-secretariat at Chingmai Rong and Imakaitel construction at Urchwal Tombisana High School. The MPCC spokesperson also stated that National Highway 150, that is Nambol to Churachanpur Tidim Road, is at its worst condition. He also accused the government of not providing adequate electricity despite initiating prepaid electricity system. Joy Kishan alleged the government of creating upheaval in the state with issues like border pillar dispute, Manipur University crisis and various others to sideline the legs on various developmental projects. Joy Kishan assured that the Congress party will always put the issues of the state in the forefront for the welfare of the public and even launch agitation along with the people to combat various issues. BJP is either cheating the NSM I am or cheating the people of Manipur. Masina kau ni thamze ni ngisi. Di sana sih na, kau ini underground tahu tu nelayan bah. Masih santai lagi lambi tu pusing. Orang bawa mana benda. Naga asing kita emotional issues agak laga. Mak kau ini na NSM dah aran bawa pum keram hajen bah. Nat raga Manipur perjada aran bawa pum hajen laga. Nungang hal laga. Mani sih dah tension purak bah besai. BJP के गेम प्लान नहीं, मशी कोई भी आरोह। दिसंबर बोगी मनुंगा, ठेंग बदा, लोकसभा के कोर्ट ऑफ कंडक्ट लाख गए मांगदा मखोई ना, मखोई की सानरी बग गेम प्लान न सेलेबा में आमना, खंगना रख लगा नहीं, मखोई ने सिंसरली नगासिंग सी 
Aquegi Ungsangna Shanti Wenda Lambi Ma Shilakpa Manipur Pazar Sukaidaba Natraga Manipur Pazar the Pai Hajan Banaga Paza Pai Hajan Banasema Tam Kraki Manang the Kangani. Bijipina Yam na Apikpa politics Taraga Miam the Shamam Namba Miam the decisive policy taraga ching tamgi manakta ukana naba to unba border gi the manipur paisa mayam de mipai naba to unba shatra mayam da wal laga real issue mayam se de na thai laga manipur de india da kari phum da le riya hebse na thai na puri basse masi praja pun mak mikap to piro taking part in the press made congress mla ak mirabai expressed disappointment that bjp government give poverty and developmental related schemes and projects to only BJP workers. She said that the BJP workers can only sell or buy gas through Ujwala Yojana when the scheme was initiated by the union government for the uplifting of women. Beneficiary recommended by the MLA cannot even avail the scheme. She cautions the public from such politics. MPCC executives and members of Congress also attended the meet. Giasi, the Sengam, Yed Bamatam, the so BJP party Natana, two punish Giasi in the Sugaya Devo. A quick, quicky, Lara Rabber Praza, AAY, Makada Lady Ba, Tongan Tongan by Quiggy, below property line the Lady Ba, Lukrabi, we do wherever, positive wherever, whatever Lady Ba, effective person sing Jida, a quick proposal P. Ever. Ado, BJP party, me Natana, a quick Yen Gay, I would say, I have a PDEVA. Aduna the Adokimatic Razinity, the Asuk. Mien Kuba, Asuma, Yet Yang with the Uber, Nuaitaba, Asukmatan Isabisa, Yong Lay Melay Naiba, Sakara say, Mercy Equi Praza Miamna, Section Biba, Mato Tare. Villagers have started repairing the long unattended National Highway Number no. 102A, Sangsat to Sorbung Road, under the initiative of Fungyar Constituency, Social Worker Ngaukchumi Ramsang. Villagers of 24 villages in and Kamjong collected money led by village church leaders to repair the 63-kilometer stretch of road in collaboration with 17 Assam rifles posted at Sangshat. The road, which was declared as a national highway, is now in a deplorable condition due to lack of attention from both the center and the state governments. Villagers are facing grievous inconveniences, commuting on the road even by four vehicles. Convener of People's Action Committee for Maintenance of Road from Sangshat to Sorbung, KB Sona told media persons that lack of maintenance by authority concern for years had led to the pathetic condition of the road. He also mentioned that the Public Works Department had earlier given assurances to repair the road. He assured a full assistance by the villagers in repairing the road. Regarding the point that I cannot say that we have been completely neglected by the government, but the road has been kept like this for about 15 years. So the government also, they are trying their level best, and accordingly, this route has been declared as National Highway 102A. Before the actual work starts, we cannot remain like this, because the complete route has been cut off. No public services, bus services, even patients are stranded on the way, hues and cries in every villages. So we cannot remain silent. That's why people are coming out. We also appeal the government to come to rescue. And we have, a, we have an unwavering faith that government will definitely come to rescue. I can see that there is a kilometer 63, most probably 63 months ago. There is a lot of people who are living in the world. There is a lot of people who are living in the world. Koi nung tarag na hena lambi si sat payada bahay tarag sumgat sat payadre. Gari matra gari sa buwan gari sa buwok ta koi gie four by four na tragedy gari lambi jilang tubong ngam na layre. Adubo koi gie sahi kaya mo ang di government kima kaya di gie samsung na lakpon mo mo rega lambi si si gipim na lakip ni. Adubo yam na nung si bahay katre bahay katre koi gie si gie lekay koi gie si gie kunjil layre ba koi bisil layre ba kun kuma kun trait kie village dressing na punsel laga. Adi gie just leader dressing adi social worker dressing punsel laga. Makhui gila jawab fun drive taroga mukhui na lusing duna lambi si siam bahore. Som da mang do bil si koi yot pait na kuatan yo pakta rogo siam bahui re. Adu go di pame makai digi semua ting bank ni habi experience si koi fungyar gi koi head chip na fungdrop putan koi da thambire adu go kadai boi ona koi gi di pame sai tagi si gi lambi sixty three kilometers pak sang bolam bici kadai ona mai pak na samsun kadagi habi tu dia koi ngami nev tari kemarin subaska lalpalwa hinggum sangsat. 
Art and Culture Minister El Jent Kumar has assured it to fully implement a cultural and scenic policy in the state by the end of next month after discussing it in the upcoming cabinet meeting. He further assured that arrangements are set to construct Manipur Film and Television Institutes in three different locations of the state. The minister was speaking at the 14th Foundation Day Observance of Film Forum Manipur FFM at the Auditorium of Manipur State Film Development Society in Palace Compound today. Speaking further, he maintained that the policy was, which existed only for namesake during the previous government will be materialized into a reality shortly. He said, after discussion regarding the policy in the cabinet meeting, the chief minister will issue a gazette notification regarding the policy as per the norms. Speaking further, Jayanta Kumar stated that the government aims to organize Manipur Film Festival twice a year with an aim to promote films produced in the state. Stating that the main headquarters of Manipur Film and Television Institute will be established at Jinku, he said that the boundary fencing works will commence from next month. He also said hill campuses of the institute will be constructed at Tongo in Ukrul district and at Hauktak in the adjoining areas between Kumbi and Churachanpur constituencies. The forum also felicitated six eminent persons who made immense contribution in Manipur films on the occasion. Cabinet put on the kitchen notification lagly on the today's 29th. At the Matang Tagi, Arobi Saru, Natagana, Matakayum, Hakatori and Haragasu, Matagin, the Munu, Nini Lerakandi, Koshoi, Namkamea, Mamanga, implement Mamanga the skeleton or in a Tanamba, Saru Pola, on a Tanamba, Makali Porto, Mado, a Hingba Poro in a Tori and Hibia no Monga, Matanga Koshem Savalo, Hadana, and then Hari Vijagas, Masijo Queen Loxilaga, Manipur State Film and Television Institute, Shi Makada, Queen Lakada Film Institute, Si Masida. Kangle Cha Punsun Loop KPL, an organization based in Patel Chest, Delhi, organized a discussion meet on Puya at Double Stories Vijay Nagar Gate No. 2 today. Lok Sabha MP Dr. T.H. Mania, retired Lieutenant Colonel Lystrom Lokendra, and scholars attended the discussion meet organized with an aim to bring together Meite community in Manipur and abroad under Sana Mahism. Members of KPA expressed a desire to build a meeting place for Meites residing in Delhi to strengthen the existing bond among the Meites and also to facilitate youth of the community in future. Residents of Utlo Mayai Lekai stays a sit-in in the locality today demanding severe punishment for Thangaujam Premchan and Thangaujam Sandeep who allegedly stressed and killed Kaisham Rojit. Taking part in protests, President of Utlo Apunba Mairapai B and Tilotama informed that Premchan, Sandeep and Rojit went out together yesterday. Later, around at 3.30 p.m., Premchan informed Rojit's family members that he was lying unconscious. When the family members rushed at the spot, they found Rojit with bruises all over his body. She said a case was registered at Wangoi police station against the same. However, no actions are taken yet against the two suspects. Rojit hari ba angang siya. Thano ogjam sandi premzan hari ba moy ahum masis tamin na hibani moy amalaga pau pira bisita masada masama to na tadna lehore hai tadna lehore hari kanda pau pira ba mongo da masada da pam khod pagi khujin na khod pagi da pam tai masada lekhom tai sandi amadi premzan hari ba angang ani siya masiri da phajna inquiry to bira kanda angang ani siya sayak matik sa badhandi siya koy ani miyeng da amadi mari lena ba authority singa madu koy PBO. JC against the brutal killing of Prokri Hongbam Memi has called for a 24-hour statewide general strike from the midnight of August 30 till the midnight of August 31st. The JC in the press release intimated that the decision was taken in the wake of government's failure to give any positive response to memoranda submitted by the JC. The general strike is relaxed for medical emergencies and essential items like water and electricity. It's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Horticulture Minister Thanajam Sham Kumar launching the 9th Haithai Panit today. We'll be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Wednesday Primetime English News. 
Horticulture Minister Thanaujam Shyam Kumar has launched the 9th Sira Kong Chili Festival, also known as Haithai Panit in Tangkul dialect. Speaking on the occasion, the minister also announced to construct a rural market sheet in Shirara Kong at an estimated cost of 13 lakh and 50 thousand rupees and also to provide a 4x4 four four vehicle to ferry agricultural produce as appeal by the villages. Minister Shyam Kumar urged the villagers to raise their grievances to MoMA and authority concerned if they face any problem related to chili cultivation. He further suggested the villagers to focus on the cultivation to carve an identity with their unique produce. The minister asserted being only festive oriented will not sustain economically in the long run. Haithai Panit is funded by NEC and organized by the villagers and Sirara Kong Hathai Promotion Committee in association with Eastern Border Area Development Authority Manipur and Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department. 21 stalls are opened selling varieties of chilies and other food items. Despite inclement weather, many people attended the opening day of the festival. Hathai Panit will be held till August 31st. Quickly, by Bruce, all the equipment will be just my own festivals. All the festival but I'm not going to officialize. Festival but I'm doing the more lacquer is what I'm. The festival is about the new lady and the lady. A senior queen might have it. Masi Queen, Gaman Gana, you bought the Pamanga, say, officers in her. Officers in the high tide. We want to do this one, we want to pursue these things. But I'm not quite a minister. Minister, the person I have targeted. We need to listen to people's voice. On the best minister, the end billion to sing Gamins. Much of dynamic. Stingy a metam gi pajan samana kanba. As a pajana hired and the madam sabada, I don't buy yes to my house, no idea. She gave them a poem, so to say, the my Makata was with the poem. Harawe, no genuine. Yamna said a quickie, a so a put later, a rap and a polita, any festival, any functions related to the consent department must join never. Manipur Pineapple Festival Committee will organize the 11th annual state level Manipur Pineapple Festival at Kaushabung DCC headquarters, Churachanpur district, from September 5th to 6th. Briefing media person at Manipur Press Club today, project director of the committee, Achun Panmai, stated that the festival is being organized since 2008 to enhance income of pineapple farmers and the state at large. State level seminar and workshop to facilitate pineapple production, pineapple eating contest, and pineapple queen contest will be held during the festival. Atun also disclosed that cash of rupees 50,000, 40,000, and 30,000 will be given to the top three farmers producing largest amount of pineapples and top three pineapple queen contest winners successively. He urged not to call any bun or general strike during the festival and appeal for participation in the festival. Lagdo River September Thagi Tangmanga Gatruk Sida Trama Toilak Suba State Level Manipur Pineapple Festival Sorsampur District K Kausabung Kauba Kunganga Pangtok Sarani Hai Riba Numid Nini Sida Ikoi Lamdam Sida Laibi Riba Loop Sangstan Amatana Numinini Sida Ban Gumba Economic Blockade General Strike Gumba Kaubi Danaba Manipur Pineapple Festival Committee Na Appeal to Zabani A one day training program on making of horticulture producers was held in the meeting hall of representatives of Lois ROL at Kakching Chumnang in Kakching district today. The training program was jointly organized by Manipur Small Farmers Agri Business Consortium and Iramdam United Food Producer Company Limited, that is IUFP, Kakching, under National Institute of Agriculture Marketing, NIAM Jaipur. Resource persons spoke at length on post harvest management of horticulture crops of Manipur from, for marketing, strategy for marketing fresh fruits and vegetables of Manipur. Prospects of value addition of locally available fruits and vegetables of Manipur and marketing thereof. Disabled Development Association of Manipur will organize the second Langbal Kaithil Festival at Hatha Kangjebung Palace Compound from September 13 to October 7. Speaking to media person in this regard, program 
coordinator of the association, Angokdon Kuman, stated that the festival will be organized with an objective to empower the friendly able persons of the state by providing them a platform to showcase their talents and craftsmanship. Noting that people from other countries, namely Netherlands, Thailand, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Nepal, including those from other states, will open stalls in the festival. Angokton assured that all differently able persons will be exempted from all charges for opening stalls in the festival. He also said various food stalls will be opened to promote indigenous cushions of the state. Pony shows, essay competition, painting competition and beauty contests will be the main highlights of the festival. He appealed to extend support to differently able persons by attending the festival. Landam sita lai riba disable kayana mapan da thok ta vida mayu unda lai shandari mahuta disable sing su put hoga landam sita makoi su able person nama gumna makoi su kari gumba lai ba ki waiba yai panaba tau bunga mi hai bado put na bugi pandam galonena wai ds enterprises ka sponsor tau ruka pang thok ba ni suba lamba kai tel ni masida koi na tongan tongan ba sto singa sita koi gi disable Manipur da laiba disable kuding maki wai na stol hang ba matam da koi fis lau jade duga sida stol hang ning ba disable na taba sina uksing na stol hang ge harga di koi ya kak na fis kala ima du di boji ta ruga hang ba ya gani. Emily Wang Kim K. Mega Chandra has inaugurated a water supply scheme at Hayala Book today. It may be recalled that inhabitants of Hela Book took up various agitations and even submitted a PIL in the court to expedite construction of the water reservoir for providing drinking water to the inhabitants. Public Health Engineering Department under the aegis of Rural Drinking Water Program NRDWP scheme started construction of the water reservoir at an estimated cost of 60 lakh and 40 thousand rupees on June 21, 2008 and completed it on July 20th this year. Official of PHED, Pradhan of Gram Panchayats and people in the area attended the event. A health and wellness center on the Ayushman Bharat Mission was inaugurated at Konthogzam in Imphal West District today. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Konthogzam Dr. S. Ranjan asserted that our state has fallen prey to the manic of drug abuse. He maintained that health is essential for a healthy society and urged people to take adequate measures to save a youth from drug abuse. Dr. Ranjan appealed to avail the benefits provided under Ayushman Bharat Mission for a better and healthy Manipur society. National Health Mission Manipur Director of Health and Family Welfare. DM College of Teachers Education Imphal today started its first semester class after an orientation program between newly admitted students and teachers. Principal of the college, Dr. H. Ibomsa, conferred the first late A.K. Ibohal Singh Meritorious Cash Award to Kabita Saram, who recently stood first position in Manipur in the recently declared B.E.T. examination. Yungkaibam Nana, who walked rally from India Gate and New Delhi till Kangla Gate, spreading awareness on crime against women, drug abuse and integrity, will be accorded a warm reception on September 2nd. 22 years old, Nana is the son of Muhammad Islamuddin from Nilong Haurebi Makhalaikai. Reception committee for Y Nanao walking rally from India Gate, New Delhi to Kangla Gate, Imphal is organizing the reception program at Lamyanba Sanglen Palace compound at 1 p.m. 
addressing media person at Amakok Hatta office today, convener of the committee SM Jalal stated that Nanao started his journey from India Gate on July 25th and left Dimapur at 5th this morning and he is expected to reach Imphal on September 2nd. Jalal appealed everyone to attend the event. Yungkai bham na nauna pura ga laiba paujel sing crime against women masigi mayokta yam na acha uva paujel pibagi adum bawa pham mayauri Manipur khunai da tahi da ba uhi da ba aba da yam na hangkoi ningai wara ba tukat chaningai wara ba ta thi ta wai na nupi sing da tau bagi thau dokshe masih noma kanda na masih sathrai masih sumheng kalai masih mayokta yung hongchat chena yam na acha uva paujel ama piri truck ki mayokta yam na acha uva paujel ama pura ga lai Manipur khunai da khai da ge hen na burning wari ba maru wari ba shuwa musu wari ba integrity Tiga orang bahasa isu sida manipuri jati juga bahasa nasional integrasi ni ada orang bawa keluar nado pura ga koi semua kongsi dasi lakukan. Regional Institute of Medical Sciences (RIMS) in a press release informed that routine investigation at the Department of Biochemistry earlier called off due to technical problems resumes today. Manipur joined in observing National Sports Day today. The day is observed in relation to the birthday of India's former renowned field hockey player, Major Dhyan Chan Singh. He was born on August 29, 1905 at Kushwaha in Allahabad. Major Dhyan Chan started playing hockey with much passion from 1922. He was named Dhyan Chan Singh by his friends, acknowledging his hockey practice in moonlight those days due to an availability of floodlight. Manipur Hockey organized a hockey match participated by renowned former hockey players of the state in observance of the day at Kumal Lampak Astro Turf Ground. Speaking on the occasion, General Secretary of Manipur Hockey, L. Tiken, stated that the contribution of renowned hockey player Major Dhyanchan Singh brought India gold medals consecutively in the Summer Olympic Games of 1928, 1932 and 1936. He also said Dhyan Chan scored a total of 400 goals during field hockey matches played between 1926 and 1948. Registered National Sports University IAS K. Radha Kumar, Secretary Manipur Olympic Association Sunil Elangbam and President Manipur Hockey Basudev Singh were among those present at the event. <laughs> เกมเมจเดียนชันนั่นคือเราสิ่งที่ผู้นำมีการมาดีเลยนะเนสเซนสปอร์ตส์เดย์ให้นะไปกี่ผมไม่รู้เดียนจะเซเลบรตเอาเ
Sanabuki, with one book for Duni, Adumasi, away, Aduana, at the Sumaina Pansen, the book of a city, Adubo, Pansen City, Maru, Kalaga, at his Hanaru, and Grace over the car, Lai Hebuki, Wakalun, the river, and you must see Matom is the Koinalize. Vice President of Southern South Sporting Union, SSU, Robin Blackie, flagged off the Manipuri football team comprising of 21 players and four officials to participate in the ongoing Vishnu Jyoti Trophy 2018 from SSU office in Kakwa today. The championship, which kicked off on August 25th at Barpeta in Assam, will continue till September 9th. BJP Manipur Pradesh also gave financial assistance and other items to the players. The 18 Asian Games bronze medalist in Wushu event, Naurim Rosibina, was accorded a warm reception at Kwasipai Mamang Bazaar Community Hall yesterday. She backed the medal in 60 kg Wushu Sanso event. Emily Oinam and Chairman of Manipur Pollution Control Board, El Radha Kishore, Emily Bishnapur, Govindas Kanthausam, Sai SAG Imphal Coach, M. Prem Kumar, Wushu Coach, M. Ronald and Joint Secretary of Wusu Association of Manipur were among those present at the event. Speaking to media person, Coach Prem Kumar said proper diet supplements are prerequisite in preparation to earn a national level gold medal. He expressed disappointment at the major incentive given to the state players. Prem Kumar said the incentive for the national gold medal in Arunachal Pradesh is 1 lakh rupees and 6 lakh rupees in Madhya Pradesh, but in Manipur it is just 6,000 rupees. Financial is yam darkaro ay sumba area asida. Adu da ina yam na hijacking badi ay koy usu esusan ng Manipur gizu funse lay tehay na taze adu ga ay na yeng chingjan bad chingjaning badi ay koy usu esusan ng Manipur gi thau pubasing sina fun ga fajan na matik sana thambi duna matam matam gi kem na sing batau ba matam da ngang sing afaba selected oy bangang kara duti fajan na finance tau raga yeng chalhan ngi makoy da tournament sa pagi na raga diet ki awaba. Northeast Biography Forum held the 6th regional and state level annual award distribution at Manipur Press Club today. Altogether, 34 distinguished persons who excelled in various fields were felicitated with cash award, citation and soul each on the occasion. MLA Kairao, Laurembam Rameshwar and many eminent personalities attended the event. Fences Welfare Parent Association today accorded a warm reception to all the players of Social Welfare Congress Kongman who backed the overall team champion in the 14th Governor's Cup State Level Fencing Championship. The team backed overall team champion, overall boys, sub-junior girls and cadet girls champion. The reception program was held at the Sanglen of Rainbow Cable Network in Kongman, John 4. Works and Power Minister Tho Thongam Biswajit President of Fencer Welfare Parent Association, T.H. Tilananda, Vice President of KHSC Kongman, Joy Chandra Moirangtham, and other eminent persons of Manipur Fencing Association encouraged the players by presenting gifts and mementos on the occasion. Speaking in the event, T.H. Biswajit asserted that the efforts of parents in nurturing good sportsperson will pay off and countless talented sportsperson will be produced from the state in the near future. Computer 
Kickboxing Association of Manipur in a press release informed that the association is conducting selection trials for the upcoming Fort North East India National Kickboxing Championship to be held on September 8 and 9 and for the third Indian Martial Arts National Games to be held from September 28 till October 1st. The selection trials will be held at Moirankom Laipung on September 2nd at 7.30 a.m. And before we wrap up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. People commemorate Hypo Jadunang on its 87th death anniversary. Deputy Chief Minister Joy Kumar asserts government is closing monitoring the Indo-Naga peace talk. Governor Dr. Nath Mahatula assured Seed Sena Manipur State Unit that Indo-Naga Fremo Agreement will not harm Manipur in any manner. Spokesperson of MPCC Kumakchum Joy Kishan asserts real intention of BJP led central government regarding Indo Naga Fremo Agreement will be exposed by this December. Art and Culture Minister L. Jayant Kumar is short of cultural and cine policy by September end. Manipur Film and Television Institute to be set up in three different places. And Manipur joins in observing National Sports Day. Minister Kalam Sham calls for state-level observance of the day to encourage budding sports persons. 